What's going on, fantasy football fans? I'm your host, Hussein the Brain. And I'm and your co host, Mike Mattal. And these are our top seven trade tips for fantasy football. Let's go. As some of you might know, Mike and I have a podcast. We call it Couchcast. Comes out every early Wednesday morning. You can check that out if you haven't already. And on one of the podcast episodes, we're talking about trades, how Mike is the master of trades and how he pulls off these trade robberies. Tell them a little bit what we talked about on the podcast, what you did. I'm infamous for trading away my productive running backs before they get injured. And what I like to do is trade them for elite wide receivers or tight ends. Okay, with that being said, let's go into the first trade tip we have. A lot of people always look at their team. They ask me, what do I go for? What do I do? The most important thing when you're doing a trade is to analyze all your opponents analyze their teams look at their weaknesses where are they desperate look at their strengths it's more about them the people you're trading with the owner you're trading with than what you want and your team now the second trade tip is kind of an obvious one know what pieces you need to strengthen your team so if you're like me and you drafted running back heavy in your draft you're gonna need to target some wide receivers via trade or be aggressive during the waivers. Don't waste your time on teams that don't have what you need. Disregard them on focus and prey on the other teams that have what you need. If you like a player on another owner's team, but they're not trying to buy what you're selling, if they already have a lot of running backs and you're trying to sell them a running back, know that that trade is not realistic. It's probably not gonna happen. Trade tip number three, very important one always try to buy low and sell high there are some exceptions to this rule if you drafted someone in the first round and you see them sinking a little bit and it's still early you can still salvage them and get a good trade off that's the exception but most of the time you want to buy low that's when someone is underperforming you know they're going to perform better that's when you trade for them and when someone is performing at a high level and you know that they may drop off that's when you sell them, right when they string together two, three games, boom, sell them, buy low, sell high, just like the stocks. Trade tip number four, don't propose too many lopsided trades or trades that may be deemed as suspicious. If you're setting trades that are just laughable upon first glance, don't do that because people are going to lose credibility. They're not going to want to trade with you like Jeremy in our league. Yeah. Everyone has someone like that. You just look at the trade for them. And you're like, wow, this is not going to work. And then you just you don't want to work with that person anymore. And trade tip number four and some of the ones we have later on. You keep doing these, breaking our trade tip rules, and you're more likely to get vetoed and declined right away and be labeled as that jerk in your league. Nobody wants to trade with you anymore. Bad karma. Trade tip number five, super simple. When you trade, always look at the future. So if you're gonna probably make the playoffs, look at the player you're trading for, look at his playoff schedule. If you're still trying to make the playoffs, you have like three weeks that are must wins, look at those weeks, like week 10, 11, 12, 13, and look at the player's schedule. Always think of the future. Don't just think, hey, they're performing good now, they're gonna perform good later. Doesn't always happen. Now trade tip number six is something that you should pay very close attention to. Now I know you're very excited to do a trade, but look at who you're trading to. You never wanna trade with a team with the best record or near the top. The reason being, you don't wanna give them any more firepower to beat you and also the rest of the league. Now we made this trade tip number six. It's, six. it's not as important, but let's say you're trading with somebody who's in first place, second place, third place and you know there's a good chance you're gonna face him in the playoffs, like you don't wanna give this guy, I don't wanna give Mike a running back, he's desperate at running back, then he comes back week 14, beats me, knocks me out because of the running back I gave him. Don't do that. And the final trade tip, trade tip number seven, don't get too cute with your trades. Don't try to trade three or four players. Now this works well with somebody you know, but if you're trying to get a trade off, trying to get it off quick, it's a higher chance that it's gonna get declined, it's gonna get vetoed if you trade like six players or five players. Also, if you try to trade like defenses and kickers and a bunch of weird stuff, there's a higher chance it's gonna get declined, you're gonna get laughed at for this year, the next year, get kicked out the league possibly, and get your trade vetoed. 
so don't do it. Those are all seven of our trade tips. Hopefully this helped you out. Leave a comment below, guys. Let me know if you liked this video, if you didn't like it, if you want to see more videos like this. Also, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. You're going to click our couch logo right here someplace it appears. Just click on that. Also, make sure you check out our other educational videos to help you step up your fantasy football game and become a champion. Make sure you guys follow these seven fantasy football trade tips so, so you can be a fantasy football champion like me. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, I don't know. The thing fell. Oh wait, they did it. It was it like scared me, man. <laughs> it showed on camera. <laughs>